So now we're on to our core mobility, our core strength stability. This is all about what we're all about. You know, this is where sports come from, in here. Outside, you got the legs, you got the arms. They're just as important, but it starts from here. So Jenna's gonna perform a basic front plank. Going down on your forearms, your palms are gonna be down. Make sure your elbows are directly underneath your armpits. So you don't want your arms way up ahead of your head. Chin is down, straight line. If you go up too high, come up a little bit, Jen, for me. That's just gonna put pressure on your shoulders. It won't work your stomach. So make sure you're low enough that you're in a perfect straight line. Feet width, whatever's comfortable. She's gonna draw her belly button up, flexing it, flexing everything she has from the core, and just locking that position. Shaking is a good thing, that means you're working. If you wanna take this to the next level, you do one foot at a time, slowly marching the foot back and forth. Do about 30 seconds to start, work up to 60 seconds. If you can get past 60 seconds, just go one foot for 10 to 20 seconds at a time. Good job. Second exercise for our core stability is a side plank. So the first one was a front plank. Now we're working just isolating that side muscle right through here. So Jen's gonna perform a side plank on either arm. Your elbow should be underneath your shoulder. Feet can be stacked on top of each other, but you can also split your feet up, which gives you a little bit of inside thigh exercise, a little bit easier to do. Let's stack them again. Make sure everything's off the ground here. So from the ankle all the way up, there's nothing touching. Hips are forward, so give me, a, give me a bad position, Jen. Kind of bend over a little bit, yep, and push your butt back. So make sure you're not in that bent position like this. You wanna make sure your hips are forward, perfect straight line. Hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds per side. If you can build up to it, get to a minute but make sure your elbow is always under your shoulder. Good job. Our final exercise for the core stability is gonna be Connect Four. Jen's gonna be lying down on her back. Now this is a little bit more advanced exercise. Take this slow. This is never supposed to be a fast movement. To start off, your elbows and knees are going to be touching. So that's important. They're gonna be pushed into each other. Head is gonna stay down. Now, some of you are gonna to wanna to spread your feet out and spread your knees out. I want your knees and your feet to stay inside the width of your hips. So keep them close together, keep your elbows tight against your knees. We're gonna to try to go bone to bone here. So I'm gonna actually try to raise Jen's elbows a little bit higher. Try to get right to that bone. And here's the start of the exercise. She's gonna reach her right arm and her right leg as far out as she can, almost touching the floor. Hold for a five second count. Connect all four again. Now the left arm and the left leg go out. Far as you can reach. Connect all four again. Don't start doing this rapidly. This should be done slow, controlled, and make sure you have that knee and elbow touching. You're gonna to hold each position for five seconds. Give it about 30 to 60 seconds at one time.